Hi, I'm Jack and Jake over at The Scoop, and we're here with artisan resident Rachel Stoltz. Now, tell us a bit what all of this display is about. Well, I'm a medical illustrator, but I recently started doing metal work, and anatomy kind of carried through as a theme with my work. Um, and I made a couple pieces for one of the e-patient advisors, and she thought I would be a great fit for the artist in residence at Medicine X. So I brought um, a couple boxes, hollow constructed forms that I've created with the spoon theory as the theme. And then we also have a participatory project that we're hoping people will come decorate spoons with us this afternoon. Cool, cool, cool. Now, how do you use medicine and art to create your um, pieces of work? Like, how do you make sure, like, the intersection, what inspires you to do all this? Well, I love anatomy. And so I have a bunch of anatomical atlases at home, and I like wearing skulls and brains and hearts and all sorts of things. Things are going to spark conversation with people. And so um, I use that in personal experiences. My husband just had open heart surgery last year, so hearts and, and lungs and different things like that have kind of given a new meaning to me. So that's why I like to I incorporate a story, it, it explains something with my pieces. Awesome. Now, what made you interested in art in the first place? Well, my mom is an art teacher, so I kind of grew up in it. <laughs> but I just, I also like science, and I said, well, what do I want to do? And I found a scientific illustration program, and then that led to medical illustration, and then this metal work just kind of happened as a hobby. So I'm making my own path, I guess. <laughs> awesome. Now, what is your favorite piece of art to work with? Do you like working with metal, or do you like working with illustrations more? Well, I started out with digital illustration, but I found myself on the computer too much. Mm -hmm. And so metal is really something that I enjoy because I don't necessarily know exactly how it's going to turn out in the end. It surprises me. You know, I think I know what it's going to look like and then the torches do something different. The heat works differently and I come up with something completely different and I love it. I love the experience. Awesome. And how do you use the internet and social media to spread your work? Like for example, with instructables and stuff like that, such that everyone can help make art. I love Instagram. I mean, Instagram is great for photos and I like sharing my process. So I'll have little pieces of, you may not know what it is, what I'm working on, and I like to follow it up with different hashtags so people can follow the process along and see how these boxes come together as I'm making them. That's what I really like. And how long does a box typically take? Well, these I had never done before, so I was learning along the way. I started in a class at the end of May, and I just finished you know, a few weeks before this conference. So it was a lot of learning, three hours a week at different classes, um, and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> wow, well, thank you so much. For The Scoop, I'm Jack Andreka.